Yeah, it sounds like the kiln is kind of like a cauldron. Yeah, you know? <laughs> for sure. I'm definitely a witch. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> My name is Fernanda Uribe. I am 36 years old. I am originally from Tijuana, Mexico, and I am a painter and a sculptor. I was waitressing in, in a Mexican restaurant in Soho, and the, the subway that I had to take was on the way, like I would pass the ceramic studio. I remember every time I'd go by, I was like, oh, well, if I can't, you know, afford them, let me just try to make them. So I saved some money, I went to the studio, and then eventually I was hired to work there, and um, the first person who ever purchased a piece from me was my manager at my restaurant, and she was the one that, like, opened the world as a possibility for me. There are these magical elements of chemistry that are not in my control and that is super exciting but it's also it can be also frustrating especially when you're looking for a certain result. The first thing that it has taught me is this just idea of, of letting go you know which is magic in itself. You spent months making something and then all of a sudden you open the kiln and it exploded because there was an air bubble or you know you're carrying it out and then it falls and it just breaks in front of you you know. Um, there is a lot to be learned from that. You, you put the pieces in the kiln, you close it for two days, and then two days later you open it and it could be better than you expected, it could be worse than you expected. Um, and many times it's neither. It's just like this is what you got and because we have expectations of things, you're like, oh, but I don't like it, but then, which has happened to me many times, and then I look at a piece that I didn't like months later with different eyes, and I'm like, that's actually a gorgeous piece, you know? Uh, when I have an obsession and I have this 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 theme, in this case, this um, this theme of, of transcending, of metamorphosis, of change, um, it is something that I can explore in different mediums. Transcendence, which is the sculpture that I will be presenting for the show, I would say this is the heart of, of, of that series. It's actually stoneware, so it's, it's um, high fired, it's not like terracotta. It's the head of a person and it is surrounded by little creatures and animals and flowers and it's basically how a body decomposes and how it turns it into food to feed another life. There's also some, some collage, there's definitely some watercolors that I'm working on that explore this, this theme of, of time and change and life cycle and metamorphoses. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is um, definitely make a point of the death, make a point of that sadness, of the grief, but because it also has a beginning and an end, you know, um, that life cycle of, of who we are, um, it's definitely um, uh, an analyzation of what we're doing with our lives and, and, and that in the end all of these are just moments connected to one another. As a Mexican, I feel that my culture is very, very connected to death. We celebrate it. We, it's not. I, I don't want to say that we enjoy it, but we have definitely come to terms with it. And Octavio Paz wrote a beautiful book about this, and he says that the Mexican culture, when you celebrate and you venerate death, it's actually you're venerating life. I feel very blessed that because of my culture and also because of my upbringing, my father, he's a doctor and one of his specialties is uh, being a forensic doctor. Um, and it was something that, you know, we would sit down on the table and, you know, my brother always, when we finish a dinner, he's like, why do we always finish talking about feces and death? Like, why is it always about, you know, these like real serious life arguments? He would take us to, to his work many times and he had to, you know, open up bodies um, and just like the fact of seeing, I remember that they, they looked like dolls or they looked, people, people dead look like they're sleeping. And psychologically, I remember that was the thing that impacted me the most.
art is definitely therapeutic. Art is definitely, you know, a window of hope. It is a society that goes out to look for answers, you know, to the tarot readers, to the to the shamans, to the gurus, because they can't figure out life themselves. The role of a magician, of a, of a tarot reader, of a psychic, has turned into that of a person that can give you hope, that can give you, you know, an alternative view, a different perspective. Artists have that. It is using this reality that we have and, and proposing something more beautiful, which is definitely